Hey everybody. What's up? It's mail call time. Yes, we got a bunch of bunch of stuff that's been laying around. So anybody that sent us mail call, we apologize. We're trying not to do these too frequently because we do have some people that don't like it. <laughs> but you're gonna watch anyways. Uh, so we got a bunch of uh, packages as always. Uh, we send back a care package to anybody that sends us something and uh, it's always fun to see what we get from everybody. And anything we're not gonna keep or use for ourselves, uh, we're gonna be putting into the Christmas um, giveaway prize pack thing. Uh, so we already just got all our gifts for the giveaway with um, Speed and Culture already went out and uh, everybody should get that stuff. Um, and you know the winner got a uh, free subscription, which was pretty and a shirt and, a shirt. and the first three yeah uh, magazines. So we're going to be doing something again for Christmas time um, to give away a bunch of stuff. So make sure you guys are keep watching and subscribing and all that good stuff because we're going to be giving away a crap ton of stuff for Christmas. So first one here is from it says hardware uh, Tom Yingling. And he's from Martinsburg, PA. I don't know what's in here. Ooh, hardware. They are. Oh man, I think we got a couple people to send us this. And we got lug nuts for the uh, for the 34, some spares. So that is really awesome. I think uh, one of these other boxes I peeked in and they gave us a heads up as well. But now we have some spares, I think. I gotta check these. Keep going. I'm gonna All right. So while Matt goes and check. Thank you, thank you for the love. So I got, this is from Wade from Burksville, Kentucky. So he welded up this little. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, these are made with Ford wrenches. That's cool, two nuts. There's some photos and I believe a letter in here. It's a picture of his F1 pickup and hot rod. Let me show the camera. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Uh, Very so this sweet. Is from Jerry Wade. Uh, I make these V8 emblems. Oh. Oh, yeah. Duh, V8. Duh. <laughs> hey, there we go. <clears throat> Out of garage sale wrenches that he picks up here and there. Uh, this is written from his wife. He's had one, or, one on his truck for years and thought you'd like one. He's more of a rat rodder than a hot rodder, but enjoys watching your YouTube channel. Thank you. Uh, in closing, is a picture of our. 1950 shop truck and 1953 rat rod, which are the two we're currently driving. Thanks awesome. for hours of good TV. Awesome, thanks for the V8 emblem. That's actually really neat. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm even, a, a dumb dog. <laughs> even though Mike's a little slow, there's the V8. Even though I'm an idiot and didn't know what awesome. it was. So thank you for that. We'll find a place to hang that. And uh, thank you for the lug nuts. They're, they're the correct shank size. The, the head size for the socket is a size smaller, but they will work. Um, this one from Tom, we can open it again. I don't think I really know. Is also lug nuts, and I tested them, and they are the same thing. So thank you guys. We now have like a full uh, set. Of them. I think that's these aren't lug nuts. I think they're in one of those. No, I think I I got the lug nuts already. Oh. That's why it's open. So this is from uh, Tom, and this is his 1940 Buick Special, and it's got stock front suspension, power disc brakes. Thanks for all your YouTube videos. It's helped a lot to keep my husband sane during all of the oh. craziness. Oh, nice. There is a... <laughs> There's uh, a set. The one, Mike. There's a set of 30... Careful! Nine. Mike might drop them. Wherever the table. And then there's also a set of are these... Um, Those might be lights off that Buick. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, so there's one, and then there's a set of plastic housing or metal housings here. I'm a noob with those, so I'm not sure, but I think that's what they might be. So set awesome. of housings, another lens. And there was some lug nuts in there. Thank you for that. I tested one and actually put it on um, and it, it worked out just well. And now we have some other ones. We have plenty of spares. Thank you everybody for that. The single missing lug nut issue has been solved and people can stop yelling at us. So, all right, that one's from far away. Yes, there's no return address on this. But, I must just stab you with that. Finland. And and Pelier, Helen. Oh man, I'm probably saying this wrong. We got a bunch of really neat stamps that came on it. It's from Finland, I believe. Oh, open that. Thanks, open that. There's a bubble mailer. That bubble mailer. Sorry, we're all over the place today. 
Uh, this is from Gregory in uh, Forston, Illinois. He sent us. What just be more? Are you kidding me? We now have the world's supply of these freaking shank lugs. <laughs> Does anybody need any of these shank lug nuts? Because now we have like a lot. And they're all the same. They're still not the large bullhead size, but they will work. Holy crap. If you just put them all in one wheel, I don't think anyone will notice. Yeah, but then I gotta change the wrench. Hope these lug nuts work for the 34. I'd love to see that it is going back together as it was instead of being made into a new street lot. Keep up the good work. Love the YouTube video videos. Good try and bid on the 40 Plymouth, but we will see. So that this was sent quite a while ago. So hopefully you won the Plymouth. Uh, thank you for the lug nuts. We now have another. So I think I have a, maybe I have enough to just switch all the wheels over to. Yeah, this if side. you did buy the 40 Plymouth, send us an email. We'd like to. Uh, Keep in touch with everybody that uh, I think the person did, so I don't know. But thank you for that. Now we got plenty of lug nuts. Hopefully we maybe we get some more and we'll have a, enough to change all the wheels over. So having so trouble this, there. This package actually it's got all these cool Oh yeah, I saw this when I picked this up at the post office. A bunch of hot rod photos on the outside of it. Chicken race, rock and roll, youth on the loose. Look out. Alright. So this is Matt. I picked up this Pete mirror, mirror somewhere in my travels. Maybe you can use it on one of your builds. I really enjoy your channel. Keep up the good work. Taylor. All right, let's take a look. You know what? I think the 39 actually needs a little Pete mirror on it because we are do not have a mirror on it. And as Matt always complains when he's backing up. Yeah, I can't it. see out of the freaking car. Smash into stuff. Ah, uh, sweet. And it's perfectly shitty for matching the car, so thank you for that. It's awesome. These little peep mirrors are great. They just clip right on the rain gutter. So we will uh, add that. We got the little air conditioner on one side. We'll put this on the driver's side. We should be go. And we'll be good to go. So thank you. Appreciate that. We'll go right on the 39. That's the one from Finland. There's a letter inside. There's also... Oh, wow. Snacks. Snacks. So... Uh, hello Mike and crew, first greetings from Finland, sending you a DVD movie I have done and a bag of flavored potato wheels from Finland with name Hot Rod. All the best, Nicholas from Åland Island, Finland. Uh, awesome. So thank you. That's uh, Send us your address. Yeah, send us your address so we can send you stuff. We're, we're going to send you some stuff back because that postage couldn't have been cheap. Ellie Rods Car Club. Hot Rod and Custom Culture, so they sent us a little DVD with uh, some stuff on there. So this will be very cool. I'm gonna throw this in the TV and have a watch of it. So thank you for that. Snacks. These are labeled Hot Rod. I definitely wanna try these right now. Okay, so this is from Jim Hot Rod Snacks. Columbus, Ohio. It's a very duct tape box. Oy. I can't read what it's saying, but it's, I think it's telling me to open it somewhere here. Avatar pasta. Whoa. Now I probably said that wrong. <clears throat> Hi, Matt, Kate, and Mike. Really enjoy your channel, knowledge, and efforts. Back in the summer of 59, my brother Dick and me would sit on boxes in our alley and watch the Miller boys working on their A with a V8. Some nights, members of the El Lehigh Valley Timing Association would show up and work on their cars too. Oh, awesome. There were Pagoda Coupes, 40s, and a very nice channeled A Roadster. It was yellow, channeled, louvered hood, and a Roadster nose. On their field. Yeah. The guys would show, show us their cars, <clears throat> just watch and stay out of the garage. The channel has gotten us back into that garage. Thanks for picking up the torch awesome. and lighting the past. Sincerely, Jim. Sweet, so he sent us a bunch of stuff. Oh wow. So here's a picture of his... Uh, Hopped up pickup. Uh, it's a Ford Ranger. Yeah. It looks like it's not stock, definitely not yeah. stock. It's got the hot rod rake, awesome. So here's a list of everything he sent us. Moon's losing his crap because he, he, he smells snacks. What's up, buddy? Oh, come Hi. here, man. It's like feeding the... At the zoo. Here. Oh, are you kidding me? These are from Finland. Try these. You like them. Here, watch. He's like, you have to eat it first. Come here. Pain in my butt. Yeah. 
Oh, I eat one. And now you eat one. Alright. Anyway, sorry. So the 34 plate. Oh, neat. I actually been looking for one for that. It's pretty low number. I might be cool. Yeah, I'm gonna check that number and see if it's if it's available. I'll probably just run it because I need and to. Uh, I'm gonna put the old two 47 on. plates that are actually matching. Sandpaper. And <laughs> now he eats one. There you go. Look at oh these. yeah. These are sandpaper tubes. They're great for body lines and tight spaces. Oh, those are cool. I've never seen those before. There is a lot of them in here. I don't know what's in this big box. Um, plates come from Oxfest for a 34 coupe in Allentown that got away. Sweet. Well, we'll run it on our 34 coupe. Our 34 sedan. Tutor. There. Um, Columbus, my brother moved here years ago. Summer visits included Good Guys, Mid Ohio. Is this from him? Yeah. What this is? Oh, cutouts came from Cooper Speed Shop in Allentown. They were closing shop. Oh, <laughs> sick. Wow. Man, he even got the old chrome on him in the box. That's killer. Thank you for that. That's so awesome. Look, they're wrapped in old newspaper. Oh, yeah. What's down here? November 27th, 1966. So it comes with all the block offs and stuff. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. I'm not sure what we're gonna use these on, but the, yeah. But these are, uh, these are necessary. There's some hardware floating at the bottom of that. When you wanna make some noise. So thank you for that. We're gonna send you back uh, a little care package. That's awesome. I'm excited about that plate. I hope it's clear and I can run it on the back of 34. Yeah, that'd be cool. I was just thinking how I needed to do that. Um, and we'll keep the 77 plate that Larry had on it, uh, probably in the car, but I think PA makes you run the year of manufacturer, so that plate would work out. So, that thing is everything. Yes. Cool. Yep. All right, so thank you, Jim. We're gonna send you a little care package back. It's awesome. All right. So Hot rod wheels are great. Here, man. All right, so this letter is from, it's from Texas. Okay. Yeah, what's your channel? Here. This is a question for you. <clears throat> Moon got slobbered all over the table. First, love your show. Do keep up the great work. Second, a question. I have a friend who has a 39 Ford in a very similar condition as the 39 two door you have been featuring the past year. Only his was sold as a convertible coupe. I call it a cabriolet as it does have a does have roll up windows. His can his car has never been shopped, lowered, sectioned, or any serious modifications. 90% all there, original except for a replacement V8. Convertible coupe, last year of rumble seat. Also last year of banjo steering wheel. First year of hydraulic brakes. Last year of floor shift. So what might your guess be to its worth? Maybe an honest price range. My name is Jesse, I can be text at. Phone number, thanks so much for any consideration. Um, cool, so I'll, I'll, I'll have a, a think on that. The, the problem is if it's as rough as this 39, they're, they're not bringing a ton of money. It is a rare car, but uh, what we're finding with these rough stuff is a lot of people uh, kind of shy away, of it, away from it. Only idiots like me like take on these like ridiculously rusty cars. So um, that might be hurt the, the value, but I'll send you a text with uh, maybe a couple guesses on, on value for you. So. Maybe we'll get some photos of it too, just to yeah, get a better Yeah, text idea. me some photos. So I'll be sending you a text message and uh, we can send some uh, nudie photos or, I mean, uh, car photos. So. so we got this magazine. All right. From a viewer. The cover is very uh, suspecting. Go ahead and open it to where he has bookmarked. So, hello Matt, I thought you would like this article on 30s dashboards and oh. gauges. Either to identify a gauge or used to design a dashboard from Jim in Akron, Ohio. Oh yeah. It's... There's Auburn. Yeah. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I paged through it a little bit already. It's very, very cool. Uh, you would not think from the outside of that magazine. Uh, collect them all automobile. That's a great... So this, if anybody's looking, this is uh, October 2020 issue. Has a steering... Or a um, dashboard article. This is great. There's a website online that I use that has some of this stuff. You have to page through it. It's not like easy to search. But this is really cool to see. Oh, that's awesome. It's a, it's a pretty long article. It's very long. It goes wow. through every year. Yeah, this is after. 
So very cool. I'm going to keep this for reference. Thank you so much. This is this is nice to have a quick color representation instead of like you know to have to search through this website. Oh, there's a Model A accessory panel. It's good. I know a lot of these off the top of my head. All right. So thank you for that. That's awesome. We'll send back a little sticker package. Uh, we got a T-shirt from All Day Apparel from Chatty All Day. He's actually in Berks County. I think he sent me a message about this. So this is a T-shirt. Oh, he's the guy that we sent. Uh, we sent him a bunch of stickers, I think. So thank yes. you. Awesome. So check out his uh, All Day Apparel. And oh, cool. Cool logo. Very cool logo. So check his stuff out if you want to. Obviously, a hot rodder making some uh, t-shirts and apparel to help fund the hobby. So I don't know what size this is, but if it fits me, I'm gonna wear it. If not, we'll do a little giveaway. Medium. Ooh, that's good. Just keep sending snacks, man. Yeah, wear I'm, large. I, I'm not in the medium class anymore. All right, big butt. Do you have anything over there? No. Oh, I forgot you took that one off. They're up. All right. Here you go. Okay. Box cutter. Watch out. Hey, people are getting bored here. <laughs> we have to up the ante with uh, what? All, right, all right, here's a letter. Wow. <clears throat> Here you go. I love your channel. Keep it up. I'm moving and came across some things that you may like. The oh, Buick. Oh man. Oh man. Are they cheesies? Uh, they are cheese curls. Ooh, they look good. They are. Um, oh, they're from Michigan. Nice. Kate's like in love with those things. Uh, the Buick parts box has some smalls in it. You may want to pass the box on to a Buick fan, but the other stuff is cool. The mirror is a dash mount rear view. Not sure where it came from, but may work on a Roadster, definitely. Tire pump works, but the leather inside is a bit crusty. Cool forward item, though. The cheese curls are made about 25 miles away from where I live and have been around for decades. I know Kate has a love for cheesy snacks, and yes, she is, I think, finally out of cheesies from Canada, so she'll be, uh, I'll be giving her some of those, but... Uh, I'll have to steal some too. Oh, this is cool. Um, some shopper. <laughs> P.S. I am not asking for a t-shirt, but if you do send one, I wear a double XL. Hmm. Oh, it's a Ford pump. Oh, that is killer. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really neat. And then there's small. So, see. So this is actually like a Ford script. I'm going to guess Model T. Uh, pump. This is oh, super look. cool. I'm definitely keeping this. This is awesome. Oh, Dutch Boy. I got a huge Dutch Boy sign I got in Oregon that I may sell at Carlisle this year. So, um, any of you guys that are watching, this is going to come out shortly before. We're, we're doing Carlisle. I'm going to set up and sell some parts and hang out since Hershey is not happening. Uh, IL32 is the neighborhood we're hanging out in. So, look in that area, you'll probably see uh, a bunch of old Ford stuff and hot rod stuff. And That's cool for you. Yeah, yeah. This is a, awesome. It might actually be roof now, too. But oh, these are perfect cool. for your. Uh, it's the same as that. We have a bus fuse Way display back, back there. there. We picked up in. And in I could use some of these. Connecticut. That's awesome. Cool. Little odds and ends. Yeah. Fuses, different stuff. I don't know Neat. This, this is a little bad. Ooh. Ooh. RPM. <laughs> That's cool. Check this out. Holly tape measure? Or no, what the heck is it? It's like a badge lanyard for your keys. Oh. The, somebody who worked at Holly. Yeah, this popped there off. There you go. Put it back on. This is the clip for it. Oh, okay. That's actually really neat. That is cool. That's all the Mike smalls. might put his keys on that. No. <laughs> Just what Sweet. I need is my toddler grabbing a hold of that. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is a pretty cool Buick box. Oh, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Thank you so much for that. That's awesome. We're going to eat some of the snacks. Uh, do we have anything else? No, yeah, that's everything. Wow, that was quick. All right, so thank you guys. Uh, as always, we're gonna put some of this stuff aside and set it up for our, um, that's not what he wants, he wants these. Here, I'll, I'll feed the. Feed the beast. I'll feed the little he likes, animal. He likes the snacks from Finland better than Michigan, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be at Carlisle, setting up to sell uh, and hang out. So IL32, if you swing by, we'll have t-shirts, all that stuff. I'll also be selling some needle junk that you guys see us collecting. Uh, and also, we're listing a ton of parts for sale on the Instagram, Iron Trap Finds uh, first, and then we're doing eBay thing as well, which uh, you can find also in the video. So if you guys are looking for parts, you see any stuff, I'm actually finally selling some stuff and I've got myself organized enough that I'm listing regularly. So there's been some really neat stuff I've been digging out of the archives and selling. So if you guys are looking, 
check it out. It uh, helps uh, fund this uh, addiction slash habit that we have. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you later. See ya. Cool.